Hi guys, so I was on Twitter and Facebook recently and asked you if you had any questions for me that you wanted me to answer in a vlog. That's my printer. <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, I got some of your questions through Twitter and Facebook, and I, I got so many questions on Facebook actually, so I won't be able to answer them all, but I picked out like the best, or the questions I thought were, you know, more interesting than others, um, and I will answer them, and I'm just going to go shut off my printer because that's really annoying me. So I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question, I might do this again in the future, but um, yeah, so I'll just go through them. It's a mix of makeup questions and more like personal kind of, or random questions. So from Beth and Louise, she asked me, as you're, as you're so good at makeup, are you good at traditional forms of art too, like painting and drawing? Um, I'm not very good at drawing. Um, well, I, I, th I think I'm mediocre. I'm not like the best, but I'm like okay. Um, but painting I was really good at in school when I was like in high school and stuff. I was quite into art and really into painting. So I think I'm pretty good at painting, but not so much at drawing. But I'm not, I haven't done painting really since high school because I just don't have time for it anymore. So I don't know if I'm still good, but back then I was. Okay. Um, the next question comes from Danny. Do you ever practice on your boyfriend or husband? Absolutely not. Um, I have asked him once if I could um, do like, you know, just a funny look on him or something, but he was totally against it. So no, I don't, I don't practice on my boyfriend. Okay, the next question comes from Erin and she asks, what is the most outrageous makeup look you used to wear out that makes you cringe looking back? Um, it's kind of hard. I, I honestly can't think of like one look. I remember in high school I started kind of experimenting with makeup. I mean I didn't wear it every day, um, you know, but I think I remember in high school I bought this like really, really dark brown lipstick. This was like, you know, really in trend back then, like the super brown lipstick and I wore that like a oh, quite a few times and um, I think that was probably like the worst thing I did because you know I'm like I was like a young girl I was like 14 or 15 or something and wearing this super brown just really unflattering color so like to high school so I think that's probably the worst thing I did makeup wise um, but you know as for a single look I can't really think of something I mean I'm sure you know I'm sure that some point I wore something that probably people looked at me funny but <laughs> can't really pinpoint it right now. Um, okay, so Brenda asks, what can you use to whiten drugstore or even department store foundation? I always buy the whitest one, but it's still too dark for me. This is a problem that a lot of people have who have fair skin, and I recommend getting a white foundation. Um, I use this one, which is actually an airbrush foundation. This is available from Mac Pro. Um, and I use this with my foundation. I add a couple drops of white foundation. I know that Face Atelier make also white foundation and Ella Masca makes a white foundation. I'm not sure if Makeup Forever makes one, um, but some, some of these kind of more pro brands do make a white foundation made especially for that purpose to lighten up sort of darker shades. And um, you can just add a couple drops to this to like the lightest foundation and that should work. Um, because I know it's like really hard to find really, really fair colors if you have very fair skin. Okay, the next question is from Leah, and she asks, if you could have dinner with anyone alive or dead, who would it be and why, and why would it, sorry, who would it be, why, and what would be the first thing you ask them? I thought about this question, I was first thinking of like celebrities or like historical people and stuff like that, or famous people, and I kind of realized that actually if I could have dinner with anyone dead or alive, it would probably be my grandmother on my father's side who died when I was like a teenager because... I'm really interested in like family histories and she had a very interesting family history. Um, you know, my, my father's German, so she lived in Germany in like the 30s and 20s and stuff and there was, she came from like a part of Germany that's now like no longer part of Germany because after the war like the borders and stuff changed. So I think if I could talk to anyone it would be her and it would just be trying to find out all the information from her, like what it was like to live back then and you know, what her family was like and stuff. I think that's probably the person I'd want to talk to. Okay, Brittany asks, I've seen many makeup gurus have tutorials that use the glue stick method to cover their eyebrows, but non-removing it. So how do you get it off? Okay, this is like the first time I used this glue stick method to try to cover my brows. Um, this was I was really concerned about too because I thought that, you know, glue is going to like rip out all your eyebrow hair and stuff. But actually, most of this glue, maybe I can, yeah, here's one. 
Um, this glue, if you just get like the regular like glue that, you know, like school glue, you know, um, it's, um, it's water soluble. So it actually just comes off with water. What I do is when I cover my brows with the glue, I just stick my head like under a running tap and I just rub at it and the glue comes off. So it doesn't, it doesn't remove the hair or anything. You just can get it off with like a little bit of water and then I once the most of it off, then I use like a face wash and just properly wash my face. So it's actually really easy. Windy asks, what equipment do you use to video yourself and how long does it take to edit one of your videos? So um, the main thing that I use is this camera, which I'm using, which is like a Canon camcorder. And I bought that, um, I don't know, like a few months ago before the summer. And um, that was like the best thing because it also comes with like a remote control. So then I can, you know, zoom in when I'm doing like special eye looks and stuff. So that's really handy. And I use a tripod, like a mini tripod. Well, it's not a mini, it's like the smaller, it's about, it's about this high, but it can be extended up and down, like the legs are extendable. And then I just have my lighting here, I have two lights and then like a bright, um, like a fluorescent light there. And um, yeah, and that's what I use. And then I also have one of these mirrors, like the, oh, actually I could show it to you like this. There's my camera. And there is the lights, you see? So that's how my setup is. Um, and yeah, there, it's on this tripod like that. And then I just use, I just place the mirror here so, and I just place it so it's a bit off camera. So that's why it's a little bit sideways, but um, yeah, that's how I do it. And um, yeah, this camera was a really, it was an expensive investment, but it's so worth it because I think the picture quality is amazing and like this remote control is really fun. <laughs> Woo, so yeah. That's what I use. Oh, and the second part of this question, how long does it take to edit one of your videos? It totally depends. If it's just like a quick video, like a haul or something, then it doesn't take very long. I just use iMovie and just drop it in and make a few edits and that's it. But if I'm doing like a complex makeup look, it can take hours from start to finish, from like filming to editing to putting in music and subtitles sometimes. So it can take like, it can take like five hours or something to make, um, one movie that's a bit more complex. Maria asks, Julia, hi Julia, what's your favorite dessert? <laughs> so I have a total sweet tooth. I love cooking and baking and stuff. I don't try to do it too much because obviously, you know, I don't want to gain like a ton of weight. <laughs> but um, I really like fruity desserts, like still creamy and stuff, but something that's including with fruit. So like apple crumbles or like pies, like fruit pies. Um, I really like pavlova, which is um, like a meringue that you make and then you put fruit on top and cream or anything that's kind of like hot and cold together, like ice cream served with like a, a warm dish. So anything kind of like that is, those are definitely like my kind of favorite desserts. Fraulein Schwartz asks, what's your favorite food and do you like to cook? I absolutely love cooking. Um, that's like one of my other big kind of passions after makeup. I love making, you know, trying out new dishes and stuff. I really like um, sort of cuisine from other parts of the world. Like I really, really love Asian food. So I have quite a few cookbooks on like Thai cooking and like Vietnamese and stuff. Um, so I really love Asian food. I really like Mediterranean cuisine like Italian and um, you know southern France and stuff like that they have awesome food and also like just you know like northern Morocco like along the coast they have awesome food like Moroccan food is one of my favorites too so anything that's kind of like exotic and different that's I really like it. Okay Leda asks can you define the order of concealer foundation contouring blush highlight and powder can powders and creams be mixed or should they be the same medium in each application. Okay, so it kind of depends what type of products you use, but for me, I usually do foundation first because I use a liquid foundation, and then I do the um, concealing. So because the foundation already is gonna cover up a little bit of your blemishes or under eye circles, so then I apply the concealer, then I um, apply powder, and then I apply blush and highlight and stuff if you use a powder blush. So basically what you wanna think of is you wanna put cream products on top of cream po cream products and powdery products on top of powdery products. So if you're using like a powder blush, you wanna um, apply that after you set your foundation because your foundation, if it's a liquid, it's like creamy. Um, but if you're using like a cream blush, you would first apply the foundation and then apply the um, cream blush because it's kinda like both uh, creamy texture. So yeah, as long as you keep your cream products together and your um, 
powdery products together and like put those on together, then you should be fine. This is a question I get a lot and this was asked by Angela. What do you do with the makeup on your face after filming a tutorial? You know, people often, often ask me this because they think that once I've done these like elaborate looks that I just go out partying or something like that or that I'm gonna go walk around the town looking awesome. <laughs> and usually when I film videos, um, it's when I have a lot of like extra time. It's like when I have time to sit down and like do the video, do the filming and stuff. So it's usually not on my way out to go party or like to go out to a dinner party or like meet friends and stuff. It's usually like when I have time. So you know, it's often at the end of the day or you know, on the weekends or stuff if I'm just sitting around at home. Um, so yeah, usually I just wash the look off after or like I'll wear it for that day, you know, if it's like a natural look, but then I'll wash it off. Like it's not like I go out after um, because you know, if I'm if I'm going out somewhere, I don't really have time to take out my camera and film and like do that because I'm try usually like in a rush to get ready. So usually it does just end up down the drain, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I think for me, it's just more about making the video and I mean, I have all this makeup, so I might as well use it. This right? one was actually on a Twitter question and this is from Cal Pal. And um, this person asked, what brought on your love or passion for art and makeup and why did you decide to go on YouTube? Um, I just kind of started experimenting with makeup but like you know and I was in university and stuff and before that I wasn't really into makeup at all I mean I had like a couple products but that's it and then I just kind of started getting more into it and I just really liked how it was like art but you could do it on your face and um, you know in the beginning I wasn't very good like you know I made a lot of mistakes and stuff and that's just kind of how I learned and um, I decided to go on YouTube because I was quite active on spectra.net which is like a beauty forum and I was doing um, picture tutorials in there where you would take a picture of each step and then you write the text and that was like super time consuming and I just didn't yeah I just became aware that there was girls doing it on YouTube and it was just kind of more live and you know it just seemed more personable and it just seemed a lot easier to explain things than taking pictures of them so then I decided to start a YouTube channel and like at the beginning it was really um, nerve-wracking like the first time I did my video um, you know I had the shittiest equipment and it was just it was really basic and stuff um, and you know I, I was just feeling so nervous about all these random people on the internet seeing me because you know on a makeup forum you kind of get to know people a bit more because you're always interacting with them and stuff so it's kind of, they almost kind of feel like your friends but then when you're on YouTube it's like you get all these people watching you and you don't know who they are so that for me was really nerve-wracking but I got used to it really fast I guess and um, I remember like looking back on my videos now, like some of them, like the way that I speak in them and I don't know, it's just so different than how it is now. Like I'm definitely much more comfortable with the camera now and like posting videos and stuff. So yeah, that's I guess why I decided to go on YouTube in a long about way of saying it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the questions. Um, you know, I obviously couldn't answer them all and my boyfriend's calling me to go eat dinner. So I will do this again soon. Um, if you want to participate in the next round of questions for the next video, um, follow me on Twitter or Facebook and um, maybe then next time I, you know, ask for questions, you can send me your questions and then maybe I'll do another one. So I'll put the links down here to Twitter and Facebook if you want to follow me on there. And and thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon, bye!